Good morning. And this time we are here in uh, Salon. We're at Salon Pier. We made a short walk from where we're staying around the corner. And uh, today we're going to shoot these, um, these, 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 these sticks that basically clear out the water, which used to form a pier, which is now long gone. Um, obviously, it's, uh, it's an old historical um, uh, pier and that has, that has long, long fallen apart. So, but it makes it a really interesting subject to photograph. And uh, once again, you know, it, it's another thing that people do here on Salon. It's a very, very popular um, photographic subject. And yeah, I'm going to put my take on it today if we, if we can. So we've caught the tide. Um, we wanted to try and take the image with lots of water around, as much water around as possible. So we've, we've got up for the, for the high tide. and It's the shade after six o'clock in the morning. Uh, there's lots of birds flying around. I don't know if you can hear oyster catchers um, making a right old racket somewhere right above me. Um, and uh, yeah, so in this in this image, it, it's well, it's quite often shot, but but sometimes there's, there's there's natural things that you might want to do which you might not want to do in, in these situations. So there's there's a bunch of rocks down here, down here going to the sea, and, and normally I would try and get quite low and try and get to the sea. But in this situation, what you might find happening is if you get low, then these sticks might start to interfere with the, with the hills in the background. So what I'm trying to do today is I'm, I'm staying high. I'm staying up on this piece of high ground. My tripod is, 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 is high so that almost you're looking down. I want to try and create a, create a clear space between the top, of the, the top of the sticks and the background. And therefore just creating that little degree of separation it would be really easy just to just to go down lower and just have those sticks going into the background and just interfering so we just want to create a little bit of separation to keep this image clean also the water's there um, i want to try and create that that kind of nice smooth reflective water maybe try and get some shadows in there and reflections from the from the sticks and to do that i am going to use uh, a big stopper also to try and bring a little bit of definition back into that sky and remove a little bit of reflection on the water, but not a lot, um, I'm going to use a polarizer. So I'm using my Nissi polarizer and I'm using my Lee big stopper on the front. Um, today I'm not using a wide angle lens, I'm using a 24 to 70, which is fairly wide, but it's not as wide as, 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 as we've been using in, else, in other places. And because of the distance involved, I'm actually shooting quite, quite long. So I'm actually shooting here at about 60 mil. I don't want all these rocks in the foreground. But I do want a little bit of water and then the and then the sticks and then the background. So camera settings at the moment we're set to f10 and with a 30 second exposure on ISO 64. Let's just frame that image and uh, and take it. It's already framed actually because I've got the filter set in there. Don't forget we always have to close our uh, viewfinder off or put put something over it a bit of sticky tape or uh, some blue tack or uh, a little cover if you've got one. I don't need to do that in this situation. I'm just going to take that, take that image. There we go. So that's 30 seconds started. The little thing that I've got today, and this is really useful. I, I carry this in my bag most of the time, is um, a little unit that allows you, because it's a really sunny day, um, and sometimes you just can't see that screen. So I do have a little device that allows you just to clip on, just put, put it on the front of the screen and look through the viewfinder. Uh, it magnifies it as well, which is quite handy to see if things are sharp. You can get these for about 15, 20 pounds on, on Amazon. There, there is more expensive variants running up to a couple hundred quid, but this is just a cheap Chinese one from Niwa and it, and it works really well. Use it all the time. So let's have a quick look at that image and make sure that's, uh, that's what we want. And that is, yeah, I quite like that. So as you can see, we, we have got that, that kind of nice soft uh, water, uh, all nicely smoothed out. We've got the sticks. We've got a little bit of separation between the sticks and the, and the background. And we've brought that sky out quite nicely. So it just looks quite interesting. So there you go. I hope you like that image. That's the, the, that's the old pier at Salon. And uh, yeah, if you've liked this video, give us a good thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And don't forget, down in this corner, subscribe would be a great thing if you could uh, just follow the channel and uh, keep up to date with what we do in the future. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again.